Hi guys, I think I have everything. Maybe. Maybe. Have you seen my very, very nice promo images that are totally safe for work? I love you. But <clears throat> I'm bringing my pussy on stream. No, <laughs> She's like, bruh. I'm not awake yet. Boof, yeah. Oh, nee? Is daar geen aantrekkelijk zitplekje? Mag ik daar zitten? Very dignified preview. Right? They're totally Twitch safe. I put a lot of effort into them, as you can tell. It's like effort city in there. <laughs> Welcome to, <laughs> to figure drawing, Saggy. <laughs> go so i have a plan for today i have a plan and that plan exists it consists of drinking wine among other things but i'm starting with a package that i have received last week and i haven't unpacked it yet and it's fun for art stuff it's, the, it's not a chaos stream. I have a plan and a lot of materials. And, well, I guess I have an idea of a plan. It's fine. Package, yes. So, I have wine and tomatoes and the kitty treats. Um, but let's unpackage first and then we can ha give Hilly what she wants. What she really is here for. And then we'll go from there or something. I don't know. Yeah, exactly. Look, I don't know how how many brain cells she has dedicated. They're starting to learn the voice command for um for food, which is me just yelling, is it time? <laughs> um so you never know. They're a lot smarter than they pretend to be. It's, um, it's a thing. And where do I go from here? Traditional desk. Oh, wait, I should, I should focus that. Oh, there we go. That's focused. These menaces, you love them. Stop encouraging them. Thank you. Look, there we go. They did not want to sit, like, I have these on my bed and they love them on my bed, but they do not want to sit it on the desk. I had to move it for Hilly to sit on there. She was, like, very insulted. 
But this is my package. The other side has a sticker with my name and address, so we're not going to show that. I'm just going to straight go in and... Uh... Yeah, right, how dare. I have this fresh package that's only been sitting here for a week. Ooh, it's hardcover. Ta da! Art book! Oh, let me see. Just eat that real quick. Please stop. Stop following me. I kind of in the camera is like, where are you going? I see a face. Big ooh, you can get this uh, for only $10. Uh, this month only. Uh, it's from Susanna Helmick. I should have looked up the link. There is, uh, but yeah, this is her bookmark. Her um, the art book for her story, like her own uh, IP called Dara that has a ton of art in it and story building and world building and the, the, I think this is like the whole uh like the actual story with all the arts look how good that is we're gonna look at those fleshy bits that is good art I'm showing off a book that came in the mail we're very we're a very safe art stream today. I actually don't know if there's titty in here. Um but yeah. So it's those beautiful artwork. And this book was a fucking steal. So I got it. And I've been sitting on this for a week. Look at sign too. Look how nice. Like that's gorgeous. Looked entirely safe. How safe he was making it. That's a <laughs> look. Look, you haven't. Uh... But yeah, if you're interested in this book, let me find it real quick. Find the link real quick. Um, because it's her birthday month. Where is your. Why do you not have that pinned, woman? I. There we go. No, that's not it. Is this the one? I want the one with the, the link in it so that's easy to find. Oh, I know where to find it. So how are you guys doing? This is like the promo tweet, if you're interested, you're tired. And the website is just, I guess, caldera.com. How did I find this? I don't know, I figured it out, you can too. Yesterday was not so great, David. Today's been better. That's nice. Yesterday the weather was very good here, um, and today has been decent. Not as good, but it was decent. <laughs> what do I do with this now? <laughs> it's a nice book. It's like nice quality. It's thick too. It's hardcover. <sighs> Look at that back art. Hold on, I have an overhead camera. Look how good that is. Hey, Amy. Look how nice that is. That's gorgeous. Like, that's good art. Okay, I have too much crap on my desk. I have so much crap on my desk right now. There's just everything all over. I'll put this on my ch chair. No, that's a bad idea. There, there. It's fine. We're fine. We're doing it. It's, it's working. 
<laughs> Ellie is ready. Hi, Boefje. Sally is also ready. Come on. Come. Sally, come. Sally is incoming. You can swap. Hop. Hi, Boef. Uh, discover your retreater stopped working to Mari. Oh, that's at least you get like a reasonably fast replacement. But yeah, that's not fabulous. Is it about use eBay came an extra controller? Yeah, I saw that. It's a shame you can't fix it yourself. Um, controllers are expensive, but at least it's like the Joy-Con and not a crack in the main screen or something, right? Zelly Bouffier. Zelly Bouffier. Oof, yeah. Zelly. Zelly has become um, less patient with her place in life. <laughs> oh, necker. Sit. Oh, boof. Sit. Mm -mm. <laughs> uh so you, okay, Zelly, you stay there. You go sit there and then we'll deal with Hilly over here. Okay, sound good? Ellie, sit. Yes, you're very cute. Let me push this back so you have space to be adorable. It's fine. We're fine. It's it's gonna be. It's not not a chaos stream at all. Your switch side a couple of years. Also, most sent it to Nintendo said no. We did, can fix this kind of problem. Wow, rude. Pout. Good job. Andra pout. That's <laughs> on the boat. That's in a box in your room. That's unfortunate. You could, uh... I mean, can't you hook it up to a TV or is it like irreparably broken? You might be able to sell it for parts. Hiya. Or you should just get rid of it if it's like unsalvageable. Sit. Oof, yeah. High five. Good job. High five. Good job. Handshake. Good job. Box. Uh -uh. Box. That's a handshake. Box. Yeah, good job. Up. Oh. Cuteness. Okay, there you go. Good job. Sally. Data, sit. I should build a you sit there. Good job. Boat. Boat. She's like, maybe. Maybe not. Boat. Good job, Andre Boat. Good job. High five. Good job. Turn in a stink bomb posted in Nintendo Grade. I mean, I'd go with Glitter Bomb, which is like significantly worse, but you do you, man. <laughs> Or, um, however you identify, to know the purchase date. I mean, that's unfortunate. We demand a refund. There's no art donkey in the stream. These are art cats. They're, what's the difference? Also, I was watching a video with Slu and he was like using an art donkey. I was like, I know what that is. <laughs> he called it a horse. It was a very confusing time. Yeah, high five. Good job. Kijk een poot. Kijk een ander poot. Good job. Kijk een handsh handshake. Handshake. Handshake is across. And then we do like boop. That's not it. Box. Good job on the handshake. Nelly. Good job. Sit. You need to teach your cat this stuff, correct? Might distract him away from the stuff he tries to destroy. Yeah, so if your cat is destructive, uh, more playtime is a good idea. That might re You need to redirect that energy. Sit. This is only possible because Hilly is very food motivated. Um, and impatient. <laughs> Sit. Vote. Hi. Shake. Good job, sit. Handshake. Uh -uh. Handshake. 
that's almost correct. I want her to do the thingy where she turns in a circle, but she's already doing it, so I don't want to... Handshake. Good job, spin. Good job. It's much better when you do it on command. It does stuff while you're asleep. Try to, try to, yeah, well, the thing is that you need to tire him before you go to bed. <laughs> But yeah, also cats are nocturnal. If they, if he's very high energy at night, make sure that he doesn't eat too late. Um, because they, after eating, they will take a nap and start, then it's like playtime because they have all this new energy from their food that they've metabolized. Spin. Notice she always goes in the same direction, by the way. Hey, Lee. Spin. Uh, uh spin. <laughs> so adorable. Up. Up. <laughs> she noticed there's no treat, so she has a good job. Up. <laughs> she doesn't want to because it's not the treat hand, but up. Which is why I'm making her do it. Good job. <laughs> oh, good job. <laughs> the Lee high five. Good job. Pout. Good job. Ander pout. Good job. High five. That is not a high five. That's grabbing my thumb. Doesn't count. High five. High five. That works. That's allowed. Good job. <laughs> They're terrible. Good job. Try not to eat my ex shitty but expensive paper. Thank you. Okay, so I have a plan for today. Since we're doing master studies, I'm actually going to do two. Uh, I'm going to dissect them first digitally, which is why I have my uh, tablet out. And then I'll go into paper and we'll start doing two five minute studies. And then I think the other ones are 10 and 30. We'll go from there. We'll see. So we're doing mixed media all the way. Also, I grabbed a bunch of supplies so that I have uh, the opportunity to play around with stuff. How's that sound? Zelly is getting better tricks. To be fair, Zelly is smarter than Hilly. Like, Zelly is noticeably smarter than Hilly. She is able to put more uh, difficult sequences together. Right, she's able because if I if I hunt, there is like a, a thirty percent chance Hilly will bring back the toy after she's done playing with it, uh, and mostly only when it's when I'm in my bed. With Zelly, there's actually like an eighty percent chance if we are specifically if she notices it's playtime and I throw, she will go after it. She'll play with it and then she'll remember to bring it back and yell at me. Um, so she's actually m much more practiced in stuff like fetch. She's more able to do it deliberately, and Hilly sort of does it accidentally. Shitty expensive paper. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, so we're, we have two studies today. I add, Osage, I added a couple more drawings because I wanted to, people to have more examples of, like, with the materials that we're likely to be using, especially early on. So, um, I figured Venus, because it's Venus, and then um, this is a, a, um, a drawing from the Ike's Museum, which is, uh, I think it's with Kant Crayon? I don't know. But yeah, ladies, very, very, um, you know, maturely censored for Twitch safety. <laughs> like, that is... Uh, you know, not wildly inappropriate at all. <laughs> it's fine. Hey, Boofie. Be lekker gegeten. You know it's yummy when they um, wash their faces after. Anyway, these references are available through Art Book Club. As you did. Should have said, I figured that was too much. Um, I almost did that on a pin. <laughs> If you go to Art Book Club, hold on, this is not going to be on Art Book Club, that's fine. Um, 
like, <clears throat> uh, they, the preview images are censored, but if you click on the, on the, on the actual original, uh, URL, you get the full, the full whammy, but this would make it easier to show it on stream. Um, and also, if you just don't want to have an uncensored version, that's also very valid. <laughs> so I added a few more drawings. Um, also with like this one, I really, really like because it's more unfinished. I want people to be able to be free to to make stuff that's like not as polished as the full um, like these. Uh, which are awesome, by the way. Like, these are fantastic. But I, these are a little bit more intimidating. So, um, I added a couple of classic... Um, classic nudes. And, uh, yeah, we've, we have a little uh, sensor kit going on, which I'll publish this week for more... Uh... Oh, I forgot to censor the one booby on this one, I think. I don't remember. But they're all, like you know, appropriately um, modified. Mm -hmm. Totally. Look, even the reflection. You want to draw the chomp? Wait, which chomp? Um, but yeah, I, could, I really, really considered... Um, Creation of Adam is also appropriately censored, by the way. Just letting you know. Let's, let's go to... Can we open this? Pure original, there we go. Um, because we, we do not... I couldn't be bothered to censor all of the nips, but uh, the nips are, are appropriately censored for when you're ready to draw this. Um, but I really considered putting an eggplant there, but that was just unfortunate. Uh, don't, oh, for, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, that chomp. Okay, got it. Yeah, sorry. It's between the thing... Like, chomp is usually related to my cat, so... It's a little harder to understand. Hold on, my, my, I forgot, I, I figured I wouldn't need the sun, but I need the sun. I love you. Dickert. I guess that's technically still kind of, oh, I chased her away. Once she's just jumping, yeah, yeah, you're not wrong. You are not wrong. I can turn off kitty cam. Okay. Anyway, as you can tell, this is very um, appropriate and for work. Uh, and, uh, you know, I cannot be asked to do all of them, but I did make sure that the peens, at least. If Sagi wants to give it a try, then she can do also the leftover nips. Um, but I figured, you know, you guys are probably going to focus on this one anyway. Hold on. There we go. No fucking money. You're welcome. I'm going to... This week you'll get a sensor kit for your own uh, stuff uh, for the submissions. I, I Do you appreciate this one? No. <laughs> I feel like that was very... <laughs> um, you know. Thematically acceptable. Anyway, we're doing it totally safe for work. Everything is fine. It's not inappropriate at all. Um, you know, it's fine. It's fine. Anyway, we're not doing this one, though I could always do it if we have time left over. I'm going to start with these two. I'm actually more interested in this one because I have bigger paper. So let's start with this. So I do, do want to sort of... Um, Study the landmarks, so to speak. Let's pick a blue. I have some new brushes. I th think they're just excited because the size of the canvas is very small for this. Yeah. Okay, that'll that'll do. So if we look at like the basic shapes, right? There's a torso, and it's kind of like shaped like this, right? That's kind of pear shaped. I mean, there's a titty here, but and I really like the belly. 
This is too wide. Can I get a smaller? Thank you. I would like. Can I reduce the opacity? I don't know. Um. So this is the where the sort of the rib cage sits. Uh, but that's also not usually how I block this out. So let's like let's just take a look at the basic shapes. I really like how the legs are uh, um, put together. Also, the, the thigh here is fantastic. This is the knee. Foot. Also foot. Notice how the um, collarbone really hides a lot of the upper shoulder. There's a little gap there. This is the forearm. Hands. So we're seeing a little bit of the under side of the chin, of the jawline and sort of this is like rest less relevant honestly this is hold on let me just put a color layer in there between that's easier hi Bufia hi Andy but this is the basic figure that we're looking at and then there's a little bit of um, like environment here with the drapery <laughs> Right. Read another fit fiction. Can tell yourself, wait, wow. You want to be here in time? It's fine. You've just missed. You've just missed literally nothing. I'm just getting started. We were looking at uh, the how I have creatively uh, made this very Twitch safe and not inappropriate at all. And you're welcome. Oh yeah, feels like all the way in, deep, deep. Uh, but yeah, I figured since we're doing master studies, I added a few more. Um, I figured I'd break down. So I have this one and this one picked for today. It looks like the eyes look like they were looking in different directions than I dig it. Just like some little, it's, you're, that's that's good enough. Made me sit my once again fire stricken body down at the desk and draw. Hell yeah! Hey Chris, how you doing? Um, so this is basically the the shapes that I'm looking at, right? So for this one, I'm kind of trying to find this is the spine, I guess. The sort of like the major shape of the body. Plant snapdragon today, which is kind of enemy. Also, I can smell like my neighbor's dinner. It smells really nice, but I don't have that kind of stuff in the in the in in a, in in the house. Thematic flower recurring OTP. I'm still too scared to pick up traditional supplies. Look, 
it's fine. I'm doing mixed media today. I'm just breaking down digitally, but look, if I can do it, so can you. I did not find the right table easel, um, but we're getting places. Also, I have managed to arrange for a memory card until the third one comes in. Hell yeah, all the missings. You're doing this. I'm do only doing digital to do to uh, do the initial breakdown, so I have some kind of idea what it looks like. But I'm recording you now, almost. Who knows? This one is coming with me on Thursday for Ho Adventures. I don't know how much I'll record or um, share. But if if it goes well, I'll have a little vlog situation. I've got like a little cage around it for protection. And it also allows me to mount um, an uh, external microphone and a little dead cat. I already had the microphone, so I figured, you know, improvements. So, oh. Like, my collection of shit is not complete yet. Something for- oh, it's chocolate. It's fine. Now it's broken. I have to eat it. How sad. <laughs> um, but I have my basic setup at least for on the go. I'll still need, like, I need a tripod. I need uh, a, the big boy memory card. I need the, the gooseneck clamp. So I can do, like, attach it to a board or a sketchbook and do overhead shots on the go. But we're getting places. Um, okay. So, anyway. Uh -huh. Someone save me from the chocolate. You can't. You're, you're avoiding, got it, got it. But don't worry, I'm just doing breakdowns for now. I'm going to into traditional after this. I have a bunch of supplies. I'm going to try a bunch of different ways. And then we'll just do whatever. It feels good. But what I really, really like about this one is the... I like the shadow areas. All right, I, I don't have to actually create a value painting because this is a monochrome situation. I really love the fleshy belly. I think I have enough information. Like, I know how it basically breaks down. Right, I know the basic shape that I want to work with. Let's just get started. You guys want me to... I'll dump a copy in... Um... Uh. I'll dump a copy in whips in case you want to look at this more closely. I won't be linking it in chat because, oh, these are so appropriately censored. Oh, wow. Usagi is just going super ham. Look at that. That looks so nice. Okay, so the, f the question is, do I want to just continue with this one or do I want to break down Venus? Original art of base. It's basically, I'm doing the master studies. I might do figure studies later, but we haven't actually learned to do figure studies yet. So we're at a, you know, we have master studies first. Um, but this is figure studies, basically. I'm not going to turn it into a full thing. <laughs> I'm very confused by the conversation because I lost the thread, but whatever. 
Now you want to get into this too? Excellent. Do you guys want me to break down the other one? Or would you prefer to play with this figure first? I can do a breakdown for this if you're interested first. Because this one has more of a, like this one has a very specific line of action that's less disrupted. This one actually could use more ovals. Many ideas with skills so far best. That's why we do it. Usagi makes me want to give up already, bruh. <laughs> that's why we doing it. So, um, choose. Go in while Usagi is sleeping, copying her brain to a hard drive. Distribute. I'm a big fan of cannibalism for absorbing people's powers magically. Yes. You know what, let's break this down as well. Did I post this actually? Did I? Uh... <clears throat> Chacha's coming here. You can have a spoonful of brain when she gets here. It's fine. Super safe. More brain humorous. <laughs> but yeah, this one has a very nice line of action. See that? That's the pose, basically. So we have the torso. This is a lovely, like, the pose for this is so lovely. I wasn't necessarily interested in doing um, this, uh, the full paintings, necessarily for study, but this is just such, like, shape language. It's a link for, thank you, Sassy. So you're here to games, bro, yes. You know, there's zero thoughts behind the eyes thing applied to animals. That's me. That is true. Cha-Cha has, like, muscle memory, which is why we need to eat the brain. I'm feeling possible in our <laughs> See, you guys are doing it already. How well. So the spite is more like this. Look at those lines. Oh, of course, the boobies. So this is what the other one breaks down into. I'm not going to focus much on the faces, like at all, for this. Uh, portraits are their own thing. I still have my attempt at abstract painting sitting here. Do not like what I got so far. Colors are ugly. Paint is not behaving like a one. Shapes are too boring. Sort of done color test for it. Yes, absolutely. You should have, if you're doing abstracts, you desperately need to pick your palette before you start. I agree. Um, 
because if you're just randomly going at it, that's fine for a sketch. But for a big canvas, it's gonna show all the flaws real fast. Nice, it could just like get started instead of sitting here fretting over it. Well, the executives aren't functioning. Accountability, Discord time. We're doing this right now. You're learning this? Yeah, you are. Okay, so this is the other one. Uh, Venus, one. Breakdown, one. And then also save a clip version because I'm smart. So I'm dropping this in the Discord as well. Oh, you guys are in the wrong folder. That's fine. We can just close clip, clip, clip. It's fine. I'm not going to refer to these on here anyway. I'm shutting down my um, laptop because I don't need it. Going back to traditional. So. But we have our references. No, it is right now. Absolutely not eating chocolate cereal. Cha cha, please. Cha cha, please. Wow. How unsupportive. This is basically in our time zone. This is correct. Yeah, I was like, why is the thingy gone? But it's fine, that's that's that was the point. I'm Hey Boof here. Yeah. Oh tidy ferts. Nice to see nothing has changed. Well you don't have to be so accurate, thank you. We don't need to uh, be this hyper aware. My study books are <laughs> sketchbooks. I have too many. I have too many sketchbooks. Who knew? Um, also, this one doesn't need to be in here, but whatever, it's fine. Look, look. Mm. Bomb. I got cheap paper. I'm gonna do cheap things. It's not cheap paper, but it's it's very thin paper that has no. This is 60 grams. It's worth nothing. So that's what we're using today. That one's important. I only have one of those, which is a dumb idea. Mm. I should. Okay, that's fine. Hey, yeah. See, we're good. We're doing good. We're not unorganized or anything of the kind at all. Oh, this is a yeah, distraction spell. Just throws a bag of snacks on the ground. That's fair. Someone throwing snacks at me. Yeah. I'm not saying that it would 100% work on me, but do you guys have a preference? Because I have charcoal, I have oil pastels, I have highlighters and pens. I've got um, charcoal pencils and I've got regular ass uh, software with charcoal. Oil pastels? Hide your porn? No. We're doing porn on screen today. Make the air black. So I feel like because of the size, it's probably easier to start with charcoal. I have vine charcoal. And I have charcoal pencils. And this is like slightly tinted, so there's a white pastel pencil as well. I like her thing. I considered getting Kant crayons. And I also have uh, these charcoals that go into my um, my thick pencil. Uh, 
Are these brand new supplies? Some. Some have, are not, well, they're not new, but they haven't been used yet. It must be like a minor at the end of each lesson. Yes. I am breaking out the big guns. I'm doing mixed media. That's in the stream title. We're gonna do all the things. Look at the size of the sketch. This is A3 size. This is very thin paper. It's a hundred. Uh, A3, 100 pages, 60 grams. So it's it's like really thin. So I can't use, if I want to use my markers, I have to switch. I do have a sketchbook here. That's reasonably, this was cheap as well, but it's a little bit thicker paper. And I figure I can use that for highlighters and pen work. And then uh, in the case of, um, if I want to use my Copics, I'll have to put in a, an extra bleed sheet. <laughs> art supply wearing only pens. <laughs> Look, I love art supplies and this, I'm really using this opportunity to break out stuff that I don't use very often. Also, these charcoals I got when I was a teenager. Like I couldn't have been more than 13 or 14 when I got these. I want you to use the markers with the flowers on them. <laughs> these are, so these are highlighters. These are just small highlighters, like the ones you use in books and stuff. And I just have different color sets from Hema, which is <laughs> art supplies because you can do, um, you don't need charcoal and uh, fancy stuff to, to do uh, figure studies. Also, I have a black wing pencil that we could use. I also have this pen, which is um, a felt tipped one from, I think this is Pento. Nay, no, this is Stylo Tradio. Yeah, this is Pento Tradio. Um, I have some brush pit brush pens uh, in different colors. I have, this is my black wing. Um, so depending on which material, it might switch between the sketch book and the block. Something fell. I feel like that's my eraser. Oh no, it's a pen. Dust bunny. Anyway, I have a lot of supplies and I kind of want to just play with all of them because I rarely get to, and this is kind of uh, an opportunity to be rough. School further away from home, I have to stay in town where your school is over lunch and a lot of time. To one their own, found a big department store with art supply section, Arxel Art Supply Shop. It was like the first time I actually discovered art supplies for myself. Yes. Anyway, if you guys have a preferred medium, I had Cha Cha wanted me to use charcoal and Usagi wanted me to use oil sticks. I forgot what they're called. This is the color palette that I have. These are the only oil pastels that I have, but it is a very pleasing color palette and I felt like it could probably work for figure studies. Maybe I'll keep these for when I'm a bit more comfortable. These might be a little bit too intense to start off with. But I definitely want to try them for, for uh, uh, some figure studies. These are all the materials that I'm going to be using like basically for, throughout the entire book probably. So. Just pick something you want me to start with. So Fila wanted the highlighters, Chata wanted the charcoal. I'm leaving the oil paintings for oil sticks for at least until I have tried a little bit. Also because I <laughs> I don't know, um, I haven't prepared any paper for it and it's sticky. Oil pa pastels don't dry properly. They need to be like varnished and shit. Those colors are so pleasing. Maybe charcoal for now interested in oil pastel only because I can't figure them out. So when it comes to oil pastel, I've, I haven't used them in years since I was like 10 or something. Um, treat oil pastels like you would paint. They're basically wet medium, but I'm getting two charcoal. So we'll just start with charcoal and you know, I have the big sketch pad, so that'll work as well. Um, and these I'll toss to the side, but they're definitely going to be highlighters and ballpoint pens in your future because that just is a lot of fun. And this is also more portable than this because this has no, uh, the back is also 
Like, I rolled this up to, to transport it. <laughs> it's, there's no support. Um, but this is the simplest. I'll start with the charcoal, the fine charcoal, and then I'll pull out the these as needed. I also got some basic erasers because I figured I'd struggle with just uh, my usual um, needed eraser. Though I'm hoping we don't have to erase actually. Okay, it's fine. Yeah, we're, we're doing good, we're doing good. I need to stack these because they're very, very stackable containers. Yay. These are all labeled as well. So that I know what's in them. Yes. Okay, we're, yes. This is, this, yes. Stop talking, looking at me. It's fine. Okay. Mm. You guys want to see me tackle the Venus first or the other one? The lying, the reclining woman. Let me grab my references for me. You guys have a preference? If you are interested in doing them yourself and... Um, you would prefer me to start with one or the other, now is your chance. Wait, did I not post the other one, the second one? That's not helpful. I'll post it later. You're gonna do Reclining Woman, the comfy lady? Uh, for the record, I'm just going to ham on this canvas now. Hell yeah. Okay, so the Reclining Woman does have the breakdown in the thingy, so that's good. That's already delivered. I'm just going to grab the original reference because that's not gonna be on stream anyway. I'm going to first time myself five minutes without the breakdown that I just made because I'm hoping that I'll remember. It's ruined any day, so you can do whatever. That's true. You can just gesso it and go for it. Go there. That is not... Wait. Oh, I was not in the right... <laughs> It's fine. We're, I'm totally prepared and professional. It's fine. No, I don't want to. I want to go there. I don't want you to edit. Thank you. Bye-bye. I think it's on my iPad now. Yes, it is. Boobies. Okay, that's helpful. So that's my reference. So, you know, you do you. I need to I need to move this to the other side because it's too tall on my left, and I'm having an autistic about it. And it's ruined anyway. You can do whatever. That is true. So. Look at that bitch being old <laughs> and decrepit. Haven't used fine coal, charcoal in literal years, so um, everybody pray for me. Thank you. I'm having, um, so I'm getting a, I need to get a table easel. That gets me the, gets a little bit of elevation, especially working larger like this. Can you guys see this? Oh, I'm not doing it. Hold on. Let me put on a timer. Let's try see how far you get in five minutes. Trying to open the photo app does not help. I'm not going to like be super um, militant about it, but I want to see if I can get the first bits down, the important parts. And she's kind of like ill-fitting on this page, if I'm really, really honest. How's the 
it's still light, so you're going to have to deal with that, honestly. I really, really like the tummy. It, it literally makes me happy. I, I think it's because we've just been so overexposed to uh, female nudes being just incredibly anorexic because of current beauty standards. This one is from the 1800s, I believe. And then it was still a lot more about being a little bit more ch chubby. And I find this to be a very pleasing um, body type. To sort of like, you can still see structure or muscle, but there's also more going on. Hey, crazy good day. Welcome, welcome raiders. I am on a timer right now, so I will appropriately um, welcome you and rechat when I'm done. <laughs> it's a couple of minutes, if you don't mind. I hope you you had a great stream and feel free to introduce yourself. If you hear weird noises, that's my cat because she is a hoe who is playing. And I have three minutes left, so it's not a, like a, I just want to see how much I can get sort of down on the first pass. I'm doing contours right now. Um, I should probably do an attempt where it's uh, where it's um, just more values blocking in, but I don't. I I actually ended up going against buying the 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 squares, the crayon stuff because I wasn't sure what I wanted. Color wise, and I figured, you know, I have a lot of supplies, I should do that first. So here we are. There's no shape blocking in, but that's coming next uh, topic anyway. So if I don't get practice today, that's fine. I really like the dark shadow under here. Like, that is such a beautiful shape. I forgot how light fine charcoal is. Like, that bitch is, like, mildly gray. Um, but yeah. Uh, I hope you're doing good. We have a little bit of that chin, that underside of the chin that I do want to see if I can capture a little bit. Even though I'm not really putting the face in. Because that's not really important. Sally. I'll see where I am in a, in a minute or so. I'm guessing I don't have a lot of time left. I'm definitely lacking contrast here. And making me wish I had um, thicker sticks, like wider. But the vines are all pretty much this. So it's fine. Oh, uncontrolled, whatever the fuck that was. I am glad that I've learned over the past two years to have a lighter touch. So that is definitely serving me well right now. Because I was a very heavy, heavy drawer draftswoman before. I can't believe nobody actually bothered to teach me, like, to just chill the fuck out when it came to my pencil. Mm. Oh, there we go. Oh, this is five minutes. Hi, how are you doing? How was your stream? <laughs> Welcome to my stream. Doing figure studies today. <sighs> Soft tummy so love. Yes. And to check out Final Fantasy. Wow, cha cha. 
Well, welcome, welcome, Raiders, Cheesy, Neko, and uh, 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 Crazy Kitten. Tell me, tell me about all the streams for just a moment of moderate gaming. Look, it's patch day. It's very exciting. Look at those little strokes. Mm. Your timing is so... So one of the homework assignments is 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 30 minutes. So I'm actually doing that one. Uh, also, time studies really force you to make decisions and to be more loose because you don't have time to sort of focus on that one detail. And that forces me to just move on because this is about impressions. Can see you avoiding the hands and feet. Yes, well, the thing is the hands and the feet are very detailed. I'm actually not uncomfortable with hands and feet for rendering. I actually like them. I have a lot of studies in the past. I haven't done them in a while, but I enjoy them. Um, you can see a little bit, but the, the I am more interested right now in the bigger ships. Patch day! In space, your brain panicking for five minutes. The thing is that you, do, you that's why setting an alarm is great because then you don't have to look at the clock. Um, hold on, I do want to. Today is the twenty third. I wanna, I wanna, no, I wanna document all my steps. Um, so I'm also normally I'd be like, okay, for the next ten minutes, I'll just continue whatever. But I'd need to photograph it in between, and that is taking uh, time. Plus this, I have a lot of pages on this, and the, you know, the goal is to, the goal is to get mileage. It's not to be perfect, but to do it a lot so that it becomes instinctive. You don't have to think about it. Chris is also doing the reclining uh, woman. But yeah, like I'm not going to spend any time on the face. There's going to be little time spent on the hands and feet compared to the rest of the body. So something that I find lacking right now is the uh, darkness. So I think for the next pass, I'm going to use these. These are charcoal fillings for my fat pencil. I have a mechanical pencil. It's a big boy. <laughs> Look at how fat that is. It's currently got a crayon in it. And I find that I don't really like this. It's kind of greasy feeling. Um, but I also have charcoal fillings. So um, I'll try this next because it'll have... I'll do the under the first sketch, the first pass with the vine because I got 10 minutes. And then um, I'll try with the darker to actually add some shape and some value. Have to reiterate how nice it looks outside your window. Dude, the weather is so nice today. My All my, my uh, doors and stuff are open. Also, I just... Zelly, I, I don't think... I don't know if you can see her. Yeah, you can. Sally, look. She's sitting in the, in the little cat tree over there. She's just being a loaf. Hi, both you. She was playing there earlier. But yeah, since the official homework is uh, 5, 10, 30 minutes to see, um, you can also do 30, 10, 5, however you please. Like if you want to spend more time on the first, I find smaller time restrictions are better for this kind of stuff for me because then I don't have time to overthink it. It's, in half an hour, you risk run the risk of... Um, getting bogged down in details because you think you have time and then you don't end up having time. But yeah, this is my chunky boy, as you can see. For reference, let me show you a regular mechanical pencil. So this one is just, uh, you know. Also, 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 if you struggle getting started, I didn't, I was going to do it, but I didn't do it because my plan was uh, vague. <laughs> Warm-ups, warm-up drawings, drawing circles, drawing ovals, drawing boxes, all that kind of stuff can super, super help. Also, Chris, uh, uh, Crazy Kitten, um, you've been quiet so far, but if you want to introduce yourself and share your stuff from, from what you were doing on your stream, please feel free to. 
You just came in while I was like trying to focus. And there's the white short for you because I like them, but they also can get sensory of them. Mmm. I find that days when it's sunny, I'm more inclined to sit out on the balcony in the in like maybe with music, maybe with quiet, maybe just listening to the sounds around the neighborhood. But it invites me to sit down and slow down. And that is actually sensory reducing. Belly belly hi. She's so cute. I don't have a comfy balcony chair, but I do have a sufficient balcony chair. This is why I got the not so cheap, but low, like not exciting paper. So it can just go and move on to the next one. This is about mileage. I set my timer for 10 minutes. Excuse you. Thank you. And I'm just going to get the first lines in with the fine charcoal and then look how much darker that is, yeah. So I'm getting the basic shape with the vine and then I'll go in with the darker to really get those values and then we'll see how that goes, right? Lots and lots of pillows? No. Get a comfy chair that's comfy on its own. I don't like um, a lot of pillows because that means you have to store the pillows, keep the pillows clean, move the pillows around. And also a lot of pillows are not comfortable to sit on because they're just squishing and you're sort of bouncing on them and falling. And it's just, it's a bad time. And this is kind of like how I normally, I'm sure that I'll get better at this with the with the book and the practice because it will teach us blocking in and stuff but this is kind of how i start sketches right it's it's kind of rough i think i want to work with the vine a little bit more get more placements but i'm actually interested in um keeping the sketch lines so having like multi-colored and multi-layered mediums is quite nice i'm just gonna play with the vines until i feel like it's holding me back and i should be switching to something more um the this i'll hold different as well so it'll make for more structured lines so i'm going to just lean into the fact the vine it doesn't it's not going to be able to hold up to a lot of pressure. Um, so I have to be fairly gentle with it. Get that. I really want to, I'm not as concerned right now with the accuracy. For one, I am actually having, uh, my angle is quite terrible. And while I've been, uh, I don't really have the time to compensate it for as much as I normally do. I am used to working at an angle because of streaming. Um, I am sure that this is not a very accurate representation, like proportionally, but that's okay. not really that important. I want to get that like it's all about the good shapes. Yeah 
if I can get the overall sort of like vibe of her pose and make the like add the relaxation that would give me that would be sufficient it doesn't have to be perfectly proportioned or whatever it needs to make sense i should have i have I have them somewhere. Do I have them in my sketchbox? No. I have, um, what do you call them? The the paper thinger, the uh, torsion things um, that allow you to blend more. I have those. I just don't know where because I never use them. I don't really like to use them with graphite, but they're much more convenient. I boof, yeah, Heide van Door, okay. They're much more convenient with the other, uh, with the charcoal. I feel kind of lost in this. Not a huge fan of my, what is happening right now. I think I need to be more structured, so. Starting with the boobs, because they are inherently important. I love the boobs, but also it uh, really leads well to the shoulder. Like if these shapes sort of work together. Then I can proportionally sort of attach stuff and stuff, which is not the best way to work, by the way. You're supposed to figure out your pro proportions beforehand. I just learned how to do this really, really young and it never really left. I see this common mistake with people that weren't necessarily um, taught the right way. Who doesn't love the titties? Right? That thick pencil is just... Yeah, so this is straight up charcoal. This is hard charcoal. That The filler. So it's... Uh, it's like dark, dark. It's black, black. It's essentially a charcoal pencil. Uh, and vine charcoal is incredibly gray. Like, people underestimated how little... Um how little impressions vine charcoals make. Usually vine charcoal is used for the uh, initial sketch and then it's sort of, um, um, worked in with like different charcoals after. And this is like, this, this is, a, this is a little, the, 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 the difference between the two, I'll have to pull out those. Um, because the difference between these two is honestly a little bit stark, right? But I can use the fine charcoal to shade in like the uh, lighter areas now. Assuming I have time, I have no idea what the timer is like. That's fine though. It's not actually. Um, because I don't know, I should focus on the important contours and whatnot, right? the messiness of charcoal also means i have to keep my um pencil lifted up from the page which forces me to uh be more bigger with my, my with my strokes one of the reasons why i really really wanted to do this on such a big paper is because you get more used to working from the shoulder So notice how the head is like way too high up. So this is a lot less more, uh, a lot <laughs> less forgiving than the, the divine charcoal. It's harder to correct mistakes. That's okay.
I love the shapes of like, you can see all the anatomic, like how muscle bends around the bone. I'm not reading chat right now. I'm seeing somebody new coming in. Hi, welcome to stream. I'm not reading chat because I'm trying to focus. I am on a timer. You can tell me how much uh, time I have left. Um, once the timer is up, I'll have... Uh, I should really put up a little message, like, trying to focus. <laughs> oh, well. Next time I'll maybe remember this. I love the, like, darker shadows. This is such a figure drawing situation where the shadows are, are just rendered so lovely. Because it really is sort of like oh, okay. all the planes. Okay, Suno, so no, hi, welcome to the stream. This is a mechanical pencil um, with a charcoal lead in it. It's very thick. <laughs> welcome to stream. This pencil is so sexy for stream. <laughs> It's definitely, it's a lot harder. I have, so I have um, this as well. Maybe I'll just switch to this for a little while. It's, this is a brown crayon. It's a little sticky for my sketchbook, but that's actually probably not an issue here. Little widget in between stream focus time. Maybe put a timer directly on the screen. Yeah, I would, but I don't have that set up. And also it's, I just, I'm just gonna have to look at that. What is focus like? Wow. So this is 10 minutes. Um. Uh. <clears throat> I'm trying out my materials, you know, this comes with it. I'll, I'm sure I'll figure out like what I like and what I don't like. So this is my first attempt in only fine charcoal for five minutes. I actually like this better. I feel like this is uh, rounder shape wise. And that partially has to do with the high contrast between the two. Um, Moderate gaming time. Your handwriting so manageable. <laughs> What's that like, right, Sean? <laughs> Let me try these next to see because these are um, charcoal pencils, and they are light, dark, medium, and white. So these should be a little bit more of a transition between the between them, maybe. Got a lot wrong yet to fix there. That's totally fine. I'm trying to be more about like the overall gesture and pose uh, as my priority. And then everything else comes after. Hey, Distortion, how are you doing? So I'll try these next. This paper isn't really light enough to be using the white, but who knows? So I have a half hour one for the next one. Which is a lot, so let me do. I'll 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 rechat more during the half hour because the half hour is a lot more than like five or ten minutes. Let me do some quick. Um... These are a little bit more like the transition between these is a little bit more. So I'll be able to, I'll be able to do more. I'll start with the vine and then I'll start doing the shadows with these. And then if I really need dark black, I'll use this. I think that's a fair thing. Cutscene's a locking thing. Wow. Having game time without me. So rude. Hard work, mark, big work, much buzzy. Okay, that's fine. Go be productive in adulting. Hi, Annie. Hi. Um, I will set the timer for half an hour just because I want to have that limit. 
adaptation. I just want to see how far I get if in half an hour. Um, but we're not going to take it very seriously. I might do a bunch of like five to ten minutes after this again. So everybody feeling good? Everybody refill their cup for hydration purposes? More wine for me. I'm doing a lot of um, finger snapping today. Big focus to distortion. Not to us. You guys ready to start again? No, oh, I should really... You know. All these packages are such ass. <laughs> like, just let me open it. I just want to take out the stuff. I can't bite it because it's like half plastic. There we go. And these are also in plastic? Jesus. It's fine. Use a knife. You mean like this one that I have right here? They have a thingy use it. Oh, they do have a thingy. Well, I didn't use the thingy, but I did pull at it. So these are like a soft and a hard eraser. I don't really know. I usually use a... Uh, um, I usually use kneaded eraser, so I don't really know how to use this. I don't know if it's a bad thing by going from A5 to A4. A5 is bigger than A4. No, the smaller the number, the bigger. I'm using A3, so Chris is using half. Bigger is better because it allows you, especially in traditional, to use your arms. Use your shoulders. Everybody do shoulder stretches because I've learned that this pain, this, this motion on my right arm is currently painful when I wake up. Not even joking. Let me do a reverse prayer. You can see my claw hand. Hold on, let me go stand somewhere. Yeah, so you notice how this hand, this is not my, this is my off hand. This is, this is my drawing hand. It's just like, that's, that's it. Ow. This one is fine. This one is like, wee, let's go. And this one. The shoulder is super fucked up. So now I have to do exercises to loosen up the, the muscle back here so that I can do, like the claw, the, the hands can't even go up because the muscle here is so tight, it doesn't, doesn't allow the pull. So that's where I'm at right now. Thank you yoga for making me aware. <laughs> but notice how this like unpracticed, this one is fine. It just does the whole thing, super limber. And this one is just like, ah! Your shoulder. Lots of artists have a fucked up shoulder and elbow and wrist on their drawing hands. You have to take care of your body. And I forgot to do that, basically. Now that I'm old, I can't just get away with ignoring it. So, just testing the erasers. Okay, so they're basically the same. Got it. <laughs> oh, hi, Bufia. Excuse me, I have duties. Hi. Hi, Hi, Oh. And you guys probably can't see this, but I'm petting the belly. So Hilly has been observing Zelly and she realizes that Zelly very, very frequently goes to the rug and then rolls on her back and then get belly rubs. So Hilly has started copying that behavior. It hasn't happened very, very often, but now whenever, Hilly, Zelly doesn't always get belly rubs. <laughs> 
Zelly knows that sometimes I'm busy and then I get yelled at. <laughs> but Hilly gets belly rubs every time because I'm trying to reinforce that behavior. It's very cute. <sighs> Palms don't quite touch. Can't even dream to get your hands to do that. It's my, it's not even my hands, it's the arms. I'm also praying hands with your palms touching upwards behind your back. Yeah, so that's reverse prayer, doing the palms like this, but behind the back. But it can help as you start by just holding your arms like behind each other. And then you have to move your, um, your, like your, your elbows out. And then you move your hands up into prayer position, which I cannot do with my right hand. More stretches for everybody, yes. Deli belly, hilly belly, yes. Hi, Leifert. Yeah. You're so cute. You're so cute. Touch your fingertips and push till I couldn't comfortably push them again. I'm aware how tight your muscles are. Right? I was like, it was a revelation. Like, that this whole, this whole section of muscle is just like, no. Anyway. Um, let's do the 30 minute session so I can officially call it homework. And after that, we'll just repeat. Sniff. You want to sniff my charcoal? Inspect. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. That's a big sniff. That's not for eating, though. I mean, you could technically could. It's not bad for you, but that's not really for eating, though. She's. <laughs> She's like, can I, can I scratch my face on this? You can do that with this one though. It smells just similar. See, there she go. <laughs> right side headaches make a lot more, yeah. So you really need to be, a lot of artists do wrist stretches, but you need to do your shoulder stretch. So my issues with my wrist are directly related to my shoulder. It's my shoulder being fucked up primarily. The, and I sleep on this shoulder uh, most of the time as well, which is a problem. Um, doing a big inspect, yes. Ooh, enjoy food. Anyway, we're not waiting for Sassy. We're gonna do the half hour study so that I can have an official homework attempt. <laughs> So, doing the same lady again. I'm actually going to start from the belly and then work my way outward. I'm sure it'll get me in trouble with like proportions trying to fit it on the page. Yeah, I'll have to go a little bit smaller. The thing is, bigger is better when it comes to this kind of stuff. It really, really, because you're not trying to fill all the details. Um. Oh, Haley, you're so adorable. Don't fall off. She really likes to do that to edges. And I'm like, baby, please. <laughs> yeah, look. Yay! We can do Rabanasta after, after my stream, if you want. I don't know if you're going to be busy uh, doing like actual adult stuff, but once I'm done streaming, I actually officially have free time until it's bedtime, which might not be very long, but still, we might be able to squeeze in a raid. Also, how are you guys liking the new music? They added a new album to uh, Stream Beats. You are an adult. Eh, technically. I 
and pulling her leg inward maybe a little bit to fit that in or I should just not worry. You guys are hearing that, right? That sounds like furniture being moved around again. Do you have another two hours of stream left? Probably, yeah. Did two five minute ones because you forgot to start the timer on the first one and one two minute one and you're exhausted. So I was way too good with proportion. It's annoying as fuck. Like I, my, I'm doing it the wrong way. So I don't teach people to do it this way. Uh, but all my proportions come from a central point, which is also why I struggle often with the bounds of my canvas, making my subject too big. Um, but like I start with the boobs, um, because they're my focal points and also like the torso is my, uh, my primary. So this is my, my reference to all the stuff that comes around it. And it's, uh, it's actually a very, very bad way of doing this because if I fuck up one proportion, I basically fuck them all up because it just gets ex exponentially better, uh, worse. Um, which is why I'm, I struggle with stuff like likeness, uh, but it is a way to do it. Uh, I don't recommend it. Learn to how to do it the proper way. Hopefully we'll learn that during the book. Um, but that is 100% how I, uh, get away with my shit. Also, I've always been good at proportioning the head. The head is seven, the body is seven or eight heads tall. And for some reason that always works for me. My brain naturally just sort of um, proportions the head. Much brain activity. Also, I'm proud of you, Filu, for doing the five minute time studies because I know that you um, struggle with perfectionism. <laughs> I think we can call this a butt kiss. If Hilly is officially interested in my art, this is literally the first time. It was traditional. Good job! You should be proud of yourself, Philo. That's that's like that's a good step. I boof you. You're not allowed to eat my charcoal, but I think you're very cute. <laughs> that stretch. She's gonna have dusty paws. <laughs> Hilly does a sniff, yes. Hi, Boof. Liefert mein Büro. Yeah, thank you all. Um, that was very cute. The stretch onto the paper. Yay. Someone clipped that. Um, but you should be proud of yourself, Philo, because I know that this is kind of like a struggle that you're um, trying to overcome. I think I made her too wide. As in particular, this arm is too large. Or too off to the side, whatever.
I have graphite on your pinky in the side of your hand. That hasn't happened in ages. Why is my paper dirty? My, um, I, the vine has been forcing me to stay relatively off the thing, which is nice because my, I'm also wearing the brace. Um, upside of using charcoal is that you don't have to, like, you can just fudge up your fucking lines. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So this is not straight on at all. I think my camera has moved, but it's fine. <sighs> that hand posture is so nice. Also, if I look at the proportions, this is pretty accurate. That's nice. Also, I'm using the eraser not to erase stuff, but to um, add highlights more than anything else. So I'm not trying to like get rid of um, ugly lines or anything. I'm just trying to add to the shape instead. Because I don't mind having the um, sketch lines in. I actually really, really like it when you can see the sketch lines. So your eraser doesn't have to be a correction tool. It can also just be... Um, a drawing tool. I know we haven't really touched on that in Art Book Club very much. Because we don't usually do a lot of work with graphite, most of us paint. But it allows me to shape the planes and stuff more. Right. I have to correct it a lot because there is um, less control. But charcoal is a very nice and flexible medium that way. <laughs> I love that little reflected highlight on the under boob.
I'm skipping the nipples for Twitch uh, stuff. Hey, Helly. My noon leafert. This is such a different piece now that I'm um, just taking my time and seeing how far I get in 30 minutes. I'm spending a lot more time on the shapes of the shadows and stuff. The difference between the valleys. I feel more free to correct stuff instead of just going with the shape already established. Like, it's very far from perfect, right? There's a lot of proportional stuff that's just incorrect, I can tell. Um, but I'm really, really hoping that I'll just be much better at this when by the time we're finished with this book. Trying to give myself the grace to fuck it up, right? To not be too worried about how it's going to end up looking because I'm very much a beginner. The last time I did figure studies, like properly, I was probably 16. And then I wasn't even particularly practiced or good at them. Um, because live models are hard to get on and the internet was just barely accessible so we didn't have all these references just casually just floating around the internet being awesome it was a lot harder to um, educate yourself than it is now right what is your Hi, Nifert. Is hanging around uh, out around my leg because it's approaching dinner time. Also, this is very far off from the values where they should be, right? There's 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 limitations to the charcoal and I'm not pushing it particularly well. But again, that's okay. I'm trying to get the shapes in more than anything. I mean that dirty, dirty hole with all the charcoal in my fingers.
Hey, be creative. Welcome to the stream. You're happy you got to stream live. I want to try to see if I can improve from stick figures. So you have to choose this type of figure. Or you can you choose from cloth figure from a stick? You can grab any of the... So also, I noticed that you have joined the Discord, but you haven't um, picked a role yet, which you can do and start here if you have off-stream questions, by the way. Um, but you can use any of the references. Hold on. I'm pausing this. You can use any of the references from Art Book Club. So I think... This is probably, nay, that's not how you write this. Um, ABC now, I actually don't know if it's updated. <laughs> yes, it is. Anna, hi. Hi, readers. Oh my God, I'm multitasking. Hold, be creative, hold on for a minute and I'll, I'll, we'll get back to your question. Yoink the loot, hi, how are you doing? Well, I was just explaining how to get the references and you imp like, interrupted me big big time how was your stream what were you up to i didn't even realize you were streaming look i'm doing figure studies i did five minutes ten minutes and i'm now in a 30 minute study of the same Oop. oh no that one's already loose and this is my first attempt five minutes ten minutes and now i'm working on the 30 minute one it's a master study. I have a reference. Oop, I so showed you a titty. Sorry, we have an, an age-appropriate one. Never realized it made purple dot appear. <gasps> Perfect raid moments. Wow. Wild. Also, hi, Hilly. <laughs> it looks like there is excitement happening. Oh, she knew you were coming. Anna, please share what you were working on so we can appropriately ooh and ah. Um, but yeah, hi, welcome friends. Uh, I'm Sarah. I do traditional art and digital art. I am also your host for Art Book Club, for which we are doing studies right now. Art Book Club is book club with art books. Also, this is one of my cats, Hilly. She's a big hoe, and I'm having a great time rubbing her belly. We're going to crack a little mermaid. Yay! Oh, she's so good. How much progress do you make? Probably a lot. Tom! Can I redeem this in exchange for some cursed lemon emotes, please? <laughs> that's 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 the deal. You should really be demanding more because you're very generous to stream. Well, the very hundred hour version, probably not. I'm way too lazy to do hundred hours. Jesus, after twenty hours, I'm ready to set that shit on fire. Um, but yes, we're doing art book club and our book that we're just starting with is life drawing by robert barrett so uh yeah i'm doing you know i'm gonna learn how to do this properly and hilly is here to wash her ass <laughs> you're welcome <laughs> but yeah anna show us the mermaids hi boof yeah is it liquor she just looks at me and went like mm -hmm, i'm busy bitch yay Copy, open my stream browser because that's something I forgot to do. Oh. She's tiny. Why is she so tiny? But she's looking good. Shameless cat. Cats have no, there's no need for shame. They are perfect in every way and flawless. Thank you, Mo. How you do? And look at, look at what Anna does though. Like, you know, you're like, oh, that's good. And then Anna comes to flex on us. She looks fucking amazing, by the way. The lighting is so good. I love the butterfly. Ooh, and her texture. Mm. I really like, I'm so glad that you start this one over. It's, it's really good. <laughs> Very exciting. Nope, that's not what we're looking for. Kitty cam. That's a good, right? Add a background of butterflies. Okay, the background. Oh, it's nice and subtle because I know you you were unhappy with the initial background where you could see like the sky through and you were too it was too detailed. A million times better. It looks so good. Also, I love the 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 vignette rendering. I don't know if you're gonna keep working on that, but it looks so gorgeous. Let's zoom out a little bit so we can see more of the background. That's incredible, right? Also, uh, if you're here, um, 
if you see, if you're new in stream and you see if you see a VIP in my channel, that means they're an art streamer and you should check out their art because they're amazing. Uh, Anna is like one of my favorite people to watch, even though she hasn't been streaming much, but she's getting back into it. I'm very happy because I'm trying to magically absorb her skills through osmosis because that sounds like a lot easier than trying actual practice. But yeah, all the VIPs, but very, very Anna, make sure to give her follow uh, because she is like wildly amazing. I boof you. Hilly does not give a shit. Hilly does not give any, any kind of fucks. Gotta be close for Osmo. Look, so we actually don't live that far apart because you're basically in the next town over. Right? So I feel like I'd be very safe inviting you to come hang out and we can do like urban sketching or have like cake or something. I live in Utrecht and I believe you live in the town that's attached by rail, like one stop. Yeah. Um, people know I live in Utrecht. It's big enough that they don't know. Uh, like it's, they're not gonna find me. <laughs> Urban cake sketching, right? So I feel like we could, we could, we should hang out and like eat yummy stuff and urban cake sketching, right? Have you ever heard of the Buckerswinkel? We actually have a few places here, uh, like Anna Pancakes and stuff that have very good dessert type food for regular consumption. You have a doppelganger guessing every day. You look, Monica, we also have Monica Piss, <laughs> but we're gonna for, go for sweets. Uh, um, but Tom, you need, you need to like DM me a picture because I'm actually really, really curious. Fuck up, right? This is Anna's work. You can tell from the quality jump. <laughs> um, but you haven't been to uh, uh, to Utrecht very much. Well, this is a perfect opportunity. But we should totally now that the weather is getting better, we should totally like hang out and um, I don't know, draw in the wild and like have yummy foods. Because we're really like we we aren't that far apart. I there's a very small chance. I probably won't end up doing it this year, but I'm. I would love to organize like an urban sketch walk situation for people that we know on Twitch in Utrecht that are willing to come. That have like, it's up. Yeah, thank you. Ooh, I'm going to hit you in the DM so hard. We can go to the art store and shit. You hear the lighting's immaculate, right? Took a picture of the queue for the replacement bus service. If you please hold, thank you. I'm actually very curious. You, 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 you want to join in? <clears throat> but yeah, I feel like it would be fun for people to hang out because I would like to go urban sketching more, but I really don't want to do it on my own. <laughs> and I feel like if we're in a group of a couple of people, that would be actually very cool. Meeting at Canal Island, right? Because that's the best neighborhood to be most safe. We should definitely meet after 10 p.m. then. And ticket to complain, the train company didn't realize they were in it, really. That's hilarious. Uh, but yeah, and it is beautiful, beautiful art 